scripture here we'll read, the Lord will choose, and we'll, we'll preach. And I'm thankful for the Lord, thankful for this uh, revival that we've had. And I'm thankful um, um, that of the times that I'm, sometimes you know you just uh, you have a burden and you don't know how to express it, and that's why we're going to read this uh, passage of scripture. And if the Lord will uh, bless them. And, um, and uh, you all just pray that the Lord would meet us here. I'm thankful for already what we've heard. Uh, uh, the, 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 the beauty of, of the Bible is, is that it's living, right? You can read the same chapter you've had uh, uh, over the years. You could hear a hundred different preachers preach on the same verse. And uh, it's it just, uh, it's just sweet power. how the power of God works. So yeah. uh, we're just going to uh, get into the Word. If you want to turn there, you can turn to Romans, and it's the 8th chapter. Uh, and we're going to start in the 22nd verse. And uh, it says, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain to, uh, uh, together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, awaiting for the adoption to wit of the redemption of our body. Uh, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Uh, but if we hope for what we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Uh, likewise, the Spirit also help in our infirmities, uh, for we know not what uh, we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot uh, be uttered. We were thinking about that this week, and uh, uh, the answer prayers that we've had, and uh, it ain't just me, but we've been talking amongst each other. Uh, uh, we have to marvel at the workings of God. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know about you, uh, but when I was a young Christian, uh, a lot of times uh, I'd have a trouble uh, or a problem, uh, uh, maybe a disagreement, uh, and I thought I had to work it out in my mind uh, how the Lord was going to in things, uh, uh, what I was going to have to do, uh, uh, but I'm telling you now, uh, I don't know how many times uh, uh, my lack of or, or inability uh, uh, to have a vivid imagination, uh, uh, though it is very vivid, uh, has limited God, uh, and I was, we ain't got to figure it out, bless your heart, uh, uh, what we got to do uh, on, is spend time in prayer, yes. uh, I don't know about you, uh, but when I was a young Christian, uh, uh, there was a many a time. Oh, as old young, as young Christians do, they struggle. There's a many time I fell at the altar and I said, I didn't know what to say. Oh, but there was some godly brother or sister pouring their heart out, making intercession for sometimes for me. Did you ever have your mama pray to you, uh, pray uh, for you in church. Uh, you know she's praying for you. Uh, although she wouldn't say your name. Uh, oh, and sometimes uh, uh, you're just too proud. Uh, uh, too proud uh, to ask for help. Uh, keep out your head. Uh, and you know, all you can say was, uh, Oh, God. Uh, me too. Uh, what he's praying. Uh, oh, but I want to tell you something. Uh, it's good, is it not? Uh, uh, we was listening uh, about the drought uh, that come back uh, terrible uh, uh, through the land what they called it. Uh, uh, the dirty thirties. Uh, uh, in the dust bowl. Uh, uh, hit, uh, hit uh, Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, it just blew dirt uh, all the way to New York City. Uh, uh, black in the earth. Uh, oh, and, uh, there was a man talking uh, about the chickens uh, out in his yard. Uh, uh, they blow dirt drifts uh, four foot deep uh, in the middle of a town. Uh, can you imagine that? Uh, I can't get my mind around that. Uh, he'd say, come out. Uh, there be the chickens uh, with their eyes uh, totally blind uh, from the dirt. Uh, I'm telling you. 
Oh, this old world has it not. It's grown many times. But because in the garden, a sin entered into this world. But the creatures in God's creation did not ask to be diverted from the perfectness that God had. Oh, but I'm glad that Jesus said, I'll go. Send me. And when he came, it all could be restored. I don't know about you, but I prayed a many a time. Have you ever prayed a prayer? Oh, you don't even mold. Oh, something so precious. Something so tender to your heart. You dare even whisper it. I'm telling you, the Bible tells me that we have a Holy Ghost that like the Spirit of God will make intercession. We can't put the words together. The Lord sees our need anyway. And we can bow our knee. I'm not telling you now because the Holy Spirit needs what knows what you need. Then they can get it figured out. But the Bible says if we humble ourselves and if He'll lift the sun. Oh, but I want to tell you something. If we lift up the cross of Christ, the cross of Christ, we're going to be persecuted. But the beauty of it is that the Lord is going to be making intercession with the Holy Spirit. You said it, brother, when you said that Jesus Christ, he said, I must go away, but I'm going to send the comforter. And there ain't nothing better. Have you lost something dear? Have you made up for messy of life? And you say, what can I do? Well, I'll tell you what you can do. When you can't even put the words all together, just bow your head wherever you're at and ask the Lord. Lord, I'm so confounded. I don't know what to pray. But I'm asking you, Lord, get me what I I mean, even when I myself I don't know what it is. Aren't you glad? Sometimes preachers I don't like preaching hard messages. Aren't you glad God sent a man willing to preach a hard message? Without them hard messages, it don't do us no good. I believe it's in Jeremiah where the Bible says that there were those old prophets the false prophets said I dreamed a dream and this and this and that and the Lord said well them prophets can dream a dream but you speak my word I'm telling you you think you're going to heaven you ain't heard the truth you ain't heard the word it's just a dream if a preacher a week after week tells you about heaven and don't tell you how to get there it's just a dream yeah. and you'll never taste of it yeah. and my son this morning Robbie don't take this wrong he said I had a dream about what we were he said he was camping remember what you said about camping in the front yard that's the way it is with the things of God if we get close to him then we can dream dreams but I want to tell you something my God, if we believe the truth, if we hold on to the truth, Amen. he's the kind of God that will give us answers and we'll see those fulfillment of those dreams and they won't just be uh, dreams as it were uh, you know what uh, we heard something uh, you know how it is uh, uh, Charlie I knew he was going to have a revival uh, and because the messages uh, that the Lord been sending uh, I truly believe uh, he was preparing the church uh, uh, that we get a revival uh, and then we see some turmoil uh, uh, here and there uh, and I kind of got fell uh, 
a little bitterness. Do you ever feel like that? I, sometimes I wish I could be on the devil. I, I know I ain't got horns, I, but you know what I'm saying? I get so angry. I, I want to tell you something. I, and I felt that old, I, a strange fire burning up in my heart. I want to tell you something before I got saved. I hated everybody but my family. I, I'd rather kill you. It's just talk to you. When God saved my soul, He took that over a hard heart and He melted it. When I first was called to preach, I couldn't hardly preach for crying any good. Well, praise His holy name. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. You sit there, what on earth's wrong with you? You got something in your pit breeches. I got something in my heart. I want to serve yeah, the most high God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I love even each and every one of you. I, I thought you'd come pretty done, Daddy. I, I don't want to take time for nobody. Oh, yeah. oh but I want to tell you something. That old fire in my heart. I, if you ain't careful, I, I will tell this. I, and then we'll shut up. I, but I had a son. He turned his back on the Lord and his racing was out doing drugs. I was broken. But I'm telling you, Daryl's always been that way. When Daryl gets mad, he gets angry. Or when Daryl gets scared, he gets angry. And I was angry. I'm not at God. But the situation, and me and Levi, we was working, clearing out the fence, and putting the fence in. And we had a neighbor. And we, but we didn't cut a lime tree of one outside the cedars. Then how he come out there, and he said, he's trying to move the fence. I said, mister, you can see the water in the trees. We ain't moving no fence. He want to move it here. He want to move it there. And the Bible tells me and you that we are to live in peace with all men. If it's possible, so I moved the fence, the corner, a six foot. I thought it ain't, it ain't worth the trouble. God gave me everything I had. I, I reckon I can move a fence. I, a six foot. I, but he still was hard getting. I, uh, and so I, uh, he come over there. I, and we tamped all them cedar posts. He's about that big. I, and he took his tractor. I, and he busted them in the ground. I, and pushed them out. I, I had a son. I, and I don't see him. I, and then old uh, Levi I, I called him at it. I, he got angry too. I, and he went on over there uh, with the four, uh, four wheeler. I, I don't, I, I, God is good, is he not? I, yeah. And he protects his children. I, and sometimes he protects my great, great aunt. I, I, she would say, I, God watches after I, uh, fools and babies. I, and you ain't no baby. I, oh, you know what? I, the Lord was in control that time. And my son didn't catch up with him. The point being is, we come home, and after all that work, I can't remember now. It's a half mile fence. I don't know how many planes was. It was actually over half mile, three quarter. I don't know how many fence poles he busted off. I felt that old strange fire that Aaron's sons offered on the offer on the altar. Oh, and it burned in me, and I trembled, and I asked the Lord, oh, God, I know that I've got to live for you. I want to see my son saved, but you know what? It was just, I prayed and prayed and thought I had it all figured out. He called me and gave me cussing. I tell you what, boy, sometimes it's hard, is it not? to walk the Christian log. But we had a dream. I'm ashamed of it. But you ain't responsible for your dreams, are you? Well, let's just preach a little while. I had a dream. And I set his house on fire. And I shot him and every one of his children. 
as they run out of that house. I, I woke up I, I wet and sweat, I, I sitting on the edge of my, I've been a preacher and a Christian I, for decades, I, and I sat on the edge of my bed, I, and I trembled, I, and the old devil said, Daryl, you can't be responsible I, uh, for your dreams, I, but I knew never, I, I knew the love of God about it in my heart, I, I like it should, I, and I, that there, I, I shouldn't be there, I, that's what I did was, I, I said, all right, Lord, I, I'm in trouble, I, and I need help, I, and for over a year, I, I fasted and I gave, I, the Lord God Almighty, I, my supper, I, and long story short, because we already said we will quit, I, a long story short, I, well, I, before it's all over with, I, I, my neighbor calls me, I, and we talk peaceably, I, I, my parents, I, I was put about 20 foot I, over on him, I, and he paid to have it surveyed, I, and they said that's where it ought to go, I, I'm telling you, when God fights all battles, I, you win every time, I, I ain't talking about worldly money, honey. I, what I'm talking about is that God's so good I, that when the devil says, look at what I took, I, he says, look at what I gave. I, and when you're in trouble, yeah. I, give more. I, when you're scared, I, pray more. I, and when you've done all you can do, I, let us all know I, that the Holy Spirit I, yeah. groans on our behalf. I, it yeah. communicates to the Father.